Hi, this is Doug Burks with Security Onion Solutions, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Security Onion Elastic Stack Technology Preview number two. Here we see the blog entry where you can see some of the prerequisites in terms of uh, what you'll need to get started to test out this technology preview. You'll need the latest version of Security Onion, and you'll need to go ahead and run setup uh, in evaluation mode to have ELSA up and running. You'll then follow the directions on this blog entry. You can simply copy and paste to your terminal to download this script and then execute the script then simply type the word agree to continue on with the script and then what we're going to see is it's going to download some pcaps so we're using these additional pcaps to more fully exercise uh, all of the log parsers that we have so we download the pcaps we replay those pcaps using tcp replay uh, so then Bro, as it sees those, as it sees that network traffic, is then going to create Bro logs. Those Bro logs then get consumed by ELSA. And we're doing this at this point because we want to later on test our experimental script, which is then going to dump all of the logs out of the ELSA database and then import all of those exported logs into the new Elasticsearch database. So after we're done with this portion of the script of replaying these PCAPs, uh, we'll then start installing some of those additional components that we need for the Elastic Stack uh, and its complete integration into Security Onion. So you see there it's performing the apt-get update. As soon as it's done with that, it's going to install git. We use git to then clone our git repo. Uh, and you see there's some Apache configuration. So this is configuring Apache to proxy Kibana. Uh, we'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. We then see it installing Docker. Uh, in this technology preview, we move to Docker images for Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. This was uh, a really good way of allowing us to use the latest version of the Elastic Stack, which requires OpenJDK 8, uh, while not requiring us to move to Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, because Ubuntu 14.04 currently only has OpenJDK 7, uh, but by putting these uh, processes, these components into Docker images, uh, we're able to sort of package that OpenJDK 8 uh, inside of the Docker image and then run those Docker containers on top of our existing Ubuntu 14.04. So you see that it's downloaded the Elasticsearch image, the Kibana image, and it's now finishing up the Logstash image. It's now starting those containers. So you see it's starting Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. It configures Elastic Stack to start on boot. Uh, it does some cleanup work to convert some of the ELSA pieces over to Elastic. Reconfigure Syslog NG. Uh, we reconfigure OSEC. And we also reconfigure Bro to enable SMB logging. Uh, so we are now able to leverage that uh, Bro SMB parsing and logging. So you'll have uh, visibility to your Windows file sharing traffic. Uh, all of that stuff that just scrolled across the screen, that was importing our Kibana dashboards and visualizations. So we've built uh, essentially a dashboard for each of the different bro log types. We've built dashboards for our OSEC host-based IDS alerts, for our network-based IDS alerts coming from Snort or Suricata. And on each of those dashboards, we've uh, determined the the primary fields in each of those logs and exposed those primary fields via visualizations. And as you'll see in just a few minutes, uh, we've included a search panel at the bottom of each of our dashboards so that a dashboard is, is no longer just a dashboard that's static and presents pretty pictures, but it's now interactive. And you as an analyst as an investigator, can now drill into all of the nitty-gritty details of each of those log entries. So what you'll see in a, a few minutes is that we'll be able to go into Kibana, 
take a look at our overview dashboard, and immediately from that overview dashboard, uh, get a, a sense of all of our different data types, but uh, still, even at the overview level, still be able to drill down to all of the uh, details of those log entries, thanks to that search panel at the bottom of the dashboard. We're now going to wait a few seconds to allow Logstash to initialize. Logstash is uh, what's responsible for picking up logs and then uh, shipping those off to the Elasticsearch database. We want to make sure that it's fully initialized before we then proceed with the next part of the script, which is to replay some additional PCAPs uh, and then start sending those logs into Elasticsearch. You do see there uh, as part of the experimental script to migrate from ELSA to Elasticsearch. Uh, so this experimental script dumps all of the logs out of ELSA, puts them into a format that Logstash can then pick up, and then Logstash is configured to monitor a particular directory for logs that it should then import into Elasticsearch. So Logstash is currently doing that in the background, while at the same time, we are replaying these PCAPs to the sniffing interface, which in this case is Ethernet 1, where all of our sniffing processes are listening for network traffic. So we have Snort uh, generating IDS alerts. We have Bro generating Bro logs. And then all of that data that comes out of those processes is then going to get picked up by SyslogNG, handed off to Logstash, which is then going to decorate those log entries, uh, add some context to them, enrich those log entries, and ultimately store them in Elasticsearch. So that in just a few minutes, when we log into Kibana, Kibana can then query the Elasticsearch database and visualize all of that data for us. We see here that the script has completed. And the script now gives you some final words of wisdom in terms of where do you go now. It provides the URL that you will uh, go to in order to log into Kibana. Now, when you do log into Kibana, it will prompt you for a username and password. And you're going to use the same credentials that you use to log in to Squeal and Squirt. Uh, because we've configured an Apache authentication proxy, which will uh, automatically authenticate those credentials against the existing Squeal database. There's some other words of wisdom here in terms of uh, pivoting and workflow and some of the hyperlinks that we provide to you out of the box to enable you to more effectively navigate through all of this big data. So what you see there is I, I clicked on that URL that was provided by the setup script. We're now logging into Kibana using our existing Squeal credentials. And we're now taken automatically to the overview dashboard. And you see that we've already got some data there, 38,000 logs. So for most of our dashboards, we kind of start off with the number of logs and then a histogram kind of showing the, the activity uh, over time. And then on this overview dashboard, we've got things like uh, NIDS alerts, bro notices, bro connections, and then you'll notice at the very bottom of that dashboard the search panel. So that you're not just getting the overview of the data, you are able to drill into all the details of those logs. And what you just saw there was pivoting to full packet capture via CAPME. So even though this is the overview dashboard, you can drill into as much detail as you want to. We've also got a link there to Squirt. Notice that we're not having to re-authenticate to Squirt because we've rewritten that Squirt authentication to leverage that single sign-on. We also include this pivot here from Squirt back to Kibana. So if you're um, looking at Squirt, you're looking at IDS alerts, and you want to then do a deeper dive into bro logs or other things that you don't have access to inside of Squirt, well, we make that very easy for you to uh, do that pivot and go right into Kibana. Again, not having to authenticate again, but simply go right into it. Uh, here we're going to click on another one of the hy hyperlinks, and that's the Bro Connection ID. We hyperlink that as well. That takes you to another 
Kibana dashboard that we've built that enables you to see all of the different logs, all the different bro logs that are related to that particular connection ID. So that for any one particular uh, TCP stream, you can see all of the different contextual data that bro gives you for that particular stream. Again, showing another example of pivoting here, pivoting on an IP address. So let's say that you find a, a workstation on your network that you think may be compromised. You simply click on the hyperlinked IP address. It will take you to this dashboard, show you everything that Elasticsearch knows about that IP address and allows you to uh, slice and dice that data. When you're done with Kibana, simply click the logout link that will destroy your single sign-on session, which will then log you out of Kibana, Squirt, and CapMe. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'd really appreciate your feedback. So if you try this out, please uh, send us your feedback. Send an email to our mailing list and let us know. Uh, if you are interested in training for Security Onion, we do offer both on-site training and online training. And uh, so you can go to our website. You can see those links there. We do have a four-day training class coming up in Augusta, Georgia in September. Uh, and we do have online training as well. So if you're not able to travel to Augusta, Georgia, we do provide online classes and finally, we do have the Security Onion Conference, which is in September. So if you are able to go to the four-day training in Augusta, the following day after that four-day class is going to be the Security Onion Conference. And then the day after that is B-Sides Augusta. It's a great week of information security. Hope you're able to join us for that. So thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again soon.